Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another weekly vlog. It is currently Wednesday, December 22nd. Um, we are almost there. I have one more work day until I'm off for Christmas. We did get off um, for work. We could choose either Friday or Monday since it is a weekend for um, Christmas. So very happy about that. But I did actually want to come out with, at you guys with a Kringle candle wax melt order. And I would, yeah, I can show you the box because this side doesn't have my address on it. And I also picked up a wax melt at Bucky's like just now. Me and my mom just went to Bucky's. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that one first. So what I got was, um, this is from the brand Swan Creek Candle Co. And it is Drizzle Melts Roasted Espresso. Look at it, it's really big. So let me show you next to um, a Kringle Candle one. This is the regular size, this is this one. So it's almost like a Scentsy brick. I've never had a brick before. I think they're bigger than this, but this is like two cubes in one, so. The scent notes aren't on here, actually. Why would why would they be on here? But it smells just like coffee. And I was looking at their whole wax melt section. They had some really good smelling ones. They had some small ones that were $6. And this one was $6.50. So I got this one, um, the bigger one instead. But I've been looking for a coffee scent like this, like a strong coffee scent. I haven't found one yet at Walmart. Let me know um, down below if you have a coffee scent from Walmart or maybe even um, from one in Kohl's, the... Um, What's that brand in Kohl's? You guys know. If I can get a coffee wax melt in stores because I, I would like to smell it because some coffees are either too strong and bitter and some are too sweet and caramely. I want like one that's like actually smells like coffee and this one smells like coffee. So really excited. So that's the first like actual wax melt, but let me get into the Kringle candle order. So half of them are country candle. So let me separate those and then half are Kringle candle. They're the same company, different brands. So I got eight total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total wax melts. And I think they were on sale for either like $2 or $2.50 during Black Friday and I just got them in on the 22nd. So it's been quite some time, maybe it was Cyber Monday, but it's been a while, but still I got them in, so that's good. But the first one I have is hot chocolate. This smells just like the powder from Swiss Miss. Mm. But it like some of these have a floral component to them. They almost kind of smell like, like a grandma and not to be mean, but you know, like grandmas that have like that powdery perfume scent. That's what it like has a note of that to the cocoa. Really odd. I'm curious to see how this one is warm, but a lot of the scents have that. So I'm not sure what that's about, but that's the first Kringle candle one. And then we have uh, November, which I got in November, but that's okay. And this one smells like a man smells really good so I like this one I probably will have to wait and melt this like in my melter at work instead of at home because my mom doesn't like those manly scents the next Kringle one I have is white chocolate chai oh it's so pretty so this one is very chai based like pretty much all chai with a hint I guess of white chocolate but it definitely matches the like picture on the front. Like that's what this would smell like. It smells really good. And I am a fan of chai scents. So, and then we have a lava cake, which, okay. From the picture, I would think it smells like hot fudge. Okay. But it does not. It's very perfumey. I don't know what, what went wrong. And then like the more I smell it, the more I get like some hot fudge. Let me try and warm it up. Yeah. I don't understand. It's like kind of floral I don't know but I hope it's okay while melting or else I'm gonna have to not melt that one because my mom doesn't like florals and neither do I um the next one I have so these are all country candle now the first one is candy cane cheesecake which I did actually melt today in our warmers downstairs it smells really good on cold it smells exactly like a candy cane cheesecake would smell also, if anyone knows where to buy that, let me know. I'm sure maybe they have them at like HEB or something. Maybe Kroger has them. I don't know. But if anyone knows, let me know because I feel like that would be a really good cheesecake flavor. And I love cheesecake. But it really does smell like peppermint and uh, cheesecake. It smells really good on cold, but I can't smell it at all warming. It's really sad. So that's a bummer. 
And then we have um, Cheers, which I thought would be perfect for like New Year's. I thought it was supposed to be like a bubbly Prosecco note and it's straight floral with a little bit of bubbly, but I would say it's more of like a ginger beer bubbly than like Sprite or, or Prosecco or anything like that. So this sounds really weird. Um, and then we have Welcome Home, which I thought would just be a nice like year round one. I don't really remember the scent notes on this one, but it smells nice. It's a very like simple fragrance. It reminds me of something that I had from Walmart, but I can't remember what the fragrance was, but it's just like a very simple, I don't even know, like almost laundry, almost sweet scent. So this one was good. So that's everything for all the Kringle slash Country Candle wax melts I got. So far, I'm not super impressed. Um, it's looking like most of them are very floral and they didn't have floral in the scent notes or else I would not have purchased them. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but what can you do? Let me know down below if you've ever tried K Kringle or Country Candle wax melts. I've heard they melt really well and perform really well. So I'm hoping at least that, but um, I'm using my LSU 2019 championship mug, not mug, cup. It's like literally huge, but I've been using it the past few days at work because I usually have a cup with me all day and it shows up on my Zoom meetings. So sometimes it's embarrassing to have like a weird cup, like plastic cup from years ago. So I've been using this one. But anyways, that's kind of all the update I have for you for now. Um, it is still only Wednesday. So um, tomorrow I still have a full work day and then we are leaving to go to Ryan's parents Thursday night, spend the day with them Christmas Eve, um, maybe see my cousins Thursday night, probably because um, my cousin's fiance now, the one who just got engaged, um, he's performing in their town. So that will be really fun. Spend the day the day of Christmas Eve with Ryan's family. And then we're coming back home Christmas Day and we're spending it with my family and we're doing a full Italian Christmas dinner. Really excited because we don't really cook Italian. I think since my grandma passed in late 2019, we haven't really cooked Italian. Like usually she would or she would suggest it or something like that. And we would have like spaghetti and meatballs together or whatever. Um, but we haven't really had it since she's been gone. We've just had like a traditional Christmas, which is the exact same thing that we eat at Thanksgiving, which is just like turkey, ham, and all the fixings. Um, but yeah, we decided to do a full Italian Christmas, so it should be a lot of really good food. It's mostly pasta. I'm super excited. So that's going to be really yummy, and I will show you guys everything in the vlog. But yeah, this week is really exciting. It hasn't really felt like Christmas just yet, but we are in like a lull at work. So there's not like a lot of stuff to do, which is great. Um, and everybody's pretty relaxed. So that's nice because people took off either this week or next week just for the holidays and to be with their families. So it's been really nice um, just being real relaxed and chill. So that's been good. But that's really everything that I have to update you guys on. I will um, let you know other stuff later but I've been doing some like budgeting and planning for next year and I really need to go on a no buy because as you can see right here exhibit a my body care collection is huge and I need to get through it and I need to stop buying stuff same with my candles I have too many candles so I really need to go on a no buy I think I might do it in January um and also just in general like no more buying clothes my closet is absolutely full it is like to the brim with clothes like falling out it's so full, so I can't buy any more clothes. <laughs> I'm already on the clothes no, ban no buy, um, except Ryan and I are going skiing with his friends in February, so I might buy some like more heavier sweaters or something. Sweaters, oh my gosh. This uh, this retainer that I have in my mouth, I still have a lisp, so I thought I would get rid of the lisp with getting braces off, and I didn't, but that's okay, because at least my teeth are straight. So anyways, that's everything I have for now. Um, now that I'm done rambling, I'm going to go work out because it's the end of the day. It's after work and I will talk to you guys later. Christmas Eve, December 24th. It is Friday night 
and it really was not a busy week um, this week at work or anything, but um, but we are currently spending Christmas Eve with Ryan's family, so I'm in his old um, bedroom, and we are spending Christmas Day with my family, so here tonight, uh, we actually already went to Christmas Mass, and then we're gonna go to, over to some family, and they have like a full spread of food, they usually do like fun games they stay up like all night so very excited for that and then tomorrow we're gonna head back to Houston and um, we're doing like a full Italian dinner spread for my family for Christmas so very excited a lot of pasta so it's gonna be some good food I'm very excited um, but I did insert a few clips already um, one actually I will put after this because it kind of needs an explanation but the Tesla has an update for Christmas where it does a light show Yes, I'm recording, I'm recording for my vlog. <laughs> and that was Ryan. But the Tesla has an update for Christmas so you could do a light show. So I will show that after this, but basically it's like, it plays Christmas music and makes a bunch of the headlights and everything flash and then like the windows go down and up and it's really cute. So I'll insert that right here. Um, but we are about to go to dinner, so I will insert some videos of the spread of food. I'm so excited. But yeah, I will see you guys later. It is actually now Monday. Um, I don't even know the date. December 27th and I'm editing this video. But I figured I would close out the vlog. Sorry, I'm like not done up. I'm literally sitting here with my teddy bear editing my vlog and watching some RuPaul Drag Race. I'm watching season one finally. But um, yeah, I, I just I'm sitting here like reflecting on the amazing weekend that I had um, shared with family, friends, new family, and just I'm very grateful for an amazing year, um, for an amazing boyfriend, for an amazing family. We met up with my family and his family this weekend and it was just, I'm, I'm feeling very blessed. And um, we did open presents and stuff, which I intentionally chose not to show. Um, but let me know down below if you guys would like to see a like Christmas gift haul. I've done one in the past. I've done a few in the past. Um, but if you guys want to see it, I'll do it. But I think I am going to take the week off of YouTube. Um, sorry, I have my retainers in for the night. I think I am going to take the week off of YouTube this week. Um, it is SAS week, but I honestly don't feel like shopping because I don't need anything. And I really don't want to go outside because uh, 
Omicron. So I just kind of want to stay here. I need some soaps. That's like literally all I need. So I might just wait till like the end of SAS and go to my um, outlet that's close by. But I honestly don't need anything. So I don't think I'm going to be shopping SAS that much. I'm going to try and stay away because my, like I said, my collection is bursting at the seams. I just need to stop. So yeah, um, that's it for this week's vlog though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope that you also had a wonderful holiday. If you do celebrate, I hope you enjoyed that time with your family and friends. If you don't, I hope you had a great restful um, weekend without people bothering you because they were all busy. So if nothing else, at least that goodness came out of it. Um, and I hope you have a merry, not a merry new year, a happy new year, um, since that is coming up soon. So I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe going into the new year. And I wish you all the best. Thank you for spending, for spending, oh my gosh, the list was bad, sorry. Thank you for spending this year with me. I really appreciate it. But that is everything for today's vlog, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!